agenda today. We have a full. I have some mic problems and so on. Yeah, auto sell near to St. Paul, Minnesota. No more che more ya pa do shao. Your name link to Sato Che no. Do moji bendo o o g como avenue St. Paul, Minnesota. GG e son be lo hu do do so tong do gi e blau be blau o yua yi yi. Tia do gi e be be son be o be yua. Your needs are our discount coupon who do to so tong do e o o xia o blau chi blau yua. Be more coupon donation. Mong J. Lau Tu Shua, Munyoto, North Carolina, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Your name is the Motu Lu Tu Chua, who is born in Gaoxiong. Satao Ilu J. Lau, who do to Satong, Dao Chi E, Blau O Blau, Yi Pe, Dao Pe. Your name is Satao Gao Persen Discount Coupon, who do to Satong, Dao E O, O Xia O, Blau Chi, Blau Chua. Testing? Okay. So today is May 14th, 2024. It's such a special day because we get to remember all of our fallen soldiers. That means our grandfathers, our fathers, our sons, our uncles, our brothers, our, um, and even our mothers, our aunties that were nurses. Um, we get to remember them and we get to celebrate all of our veterans, our Hmong SGU veterans here in Minnesota. <coughs> Uh, so I'm very happy that you guys could join us today. I also want to uh, thank Mi Shang and um, Michael Wu for um, collaborating so that the schools could join us today. We have two schools that are joining us today. It's the South Washington County uh, Schools and the East Ridge High School. And so I'm really happy that all of our students can make it today. First here, to begin our, um, our agenda today, I'm going to have Captain Sai Paul Gang come to the uh, mic. เดี๋ยวก็น้อกูย้ายเจอจังหน่อยเจอจืดกูต่อปลาต่อตัวเนี่ยที่เจอหลักจ้าสมัยสงครามเวียดนามเสรีจ้าตัวต่อฮาร้
la pecho mau ta che mo ta che nya la ha che na na ya pe ha che to na to tu to sai to chao shua to tang to ha ha li na to ko wa la ka cha sha de la nya to ta che na na zong na ta che na 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 ta na ko na ha cha ni cha si cha ku ti ni cha sha de ni le te mo do de ni 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 si cha to pa to to la ni ya mi cha to tang to ha to han de na de na ya la li ha che na nya แล้วเต็งจุกเตะขจรละจองนะโอ้เนี่ยเนี่ยเส้นเตะเส้นจุกรัวถือปีกรัวถืออาเมตตาเมตอาขจรนะนะอย่าไปตั้งขจรนะนะอย่าไปตัวมียังไงเราป้าฝึกป้ายเราตัวกับตัวกับของกับไปจับมองต่อหน้าต่อหน้าต่อใช้ต่อชัวขณะอย่าไปเล่นเด็ดตัวไปจับเป็นชาพอต่อตาอาหน้าเลยมาเนี่ยเมตตาเมตอาเสด็จต่อเสด็จอาเนี่ยเสด็จนะป้าฝึกป้ายกับเราเราเนี่ยส่วนเนี่ยส่วนช่อง背影要多，我对眼睛好能拿呢。我练Okay, and then next, can I have everybody stand? We're going to do the uh, national anthem. And I'm going to invite um, Gonava from uh, East Ridge High School. She's a 10th grader there. Next speaker is from SGU Veterans, Families of USA. He is the Vice President of SGU, Genghis Kane. Good morning. My name is Deng Yu Tang. I'm the chairman for the memory today. Today is May 14. We are the XU. Welcome for the United States of America. And. Minnesota, 
of the governor and senator, Congress representative, and all the school. We are a veteran. Honor to welcome for anybody for the memory today to remember our history. So we happy for anybody to remember and our sacrifice today. Thank you. Zhongxia, I want to thank you for the support of the government. I want to thank you for the support of the government. I want to thank you for the support of the government. I want to thank you for the support. ตาวเนี่ยนะป้าจอรุ่นเตลุเชอร์เอเปเตเลยตาวตัวจอรุ่นเตลุเชอร์นะเจนุนนะเปอเนี่ยนะลูกของหอพูดตัวจอรงเช
Good morning. I have uh, two copies of the proclamation today, so after I read it, if uh, maybe Lieutenant Tong Bang and uh, maybe someone else would like to receive it, I would be happy to read it Whereas, from 1961 to 1975, Southeast Asians, Americans, and their allies served, suffered, and sacrificed in the secret war in Laos during the Vietnam War in support of the armed forces of the United States. And whereas, May 14, 1975, was the last day that the American trained Hmong command structure over the special guerrilla units in Laos was operational. And whereas, at least 35,000 Hmong special guerrilla soldiers lost their lives protecting trapped, lost, or captured American soldiers and pilots in Laos and Vietnam. And whereas, one half of the Hmong population in Laos perished as a result of the American secret war in Laos. And whereas, ethnic Hmong, women, ethnic Hmong men, women, and children in Laos faced persecution, genocide, and forced re-education in seminar camps after American support ended. And whereas, despite tremendous cost and sacrifices in the world, the Hmong remain proud to stand by the values of freedom and justice that America symbolizes. And whereas the first Hmong family arrived in Minnesota in 1975, a state that is now called home by one of the largest communities of Hmong people in the United States. Now therefore, our governor, Tim Walz, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, May 14th, 2024, as Hmong Special Guerrilla Units Remembered Day in the state of Minnesota. Thank you very much. So, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, start here with Senator Duhim. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful uh, ceremony here today. Welcome all to the state capitol. I am Senator Tu Zhang. Um, so in 2019, uh, we passed the legislation to make May 14 uh, the Hmong Veterans Day, uh, Hmong SGU Remembrance Day. And so one of the uh, provisions of the law is to say that uh, every May 14 the flag will be lowered at half mass so that people from all over Minnesota when they look at the flag they, and they ask why is it lowered like that you can tell them that it's to remember our Hmong veterans that passed away uh, to bring to, to help provide freedom for us and to allow us to live here um, I wanted to thank all the legis uh, legislators that took the time to join us and all the department staff that is joining with us here today. Uh, 2019 was a was a very hard struggle, but we got the legislation through, and so I want to thank all of you, both Democrats and Republicans, to help uh, push that through to through the finish line. Uh, but most importantly, today uh, is for our veterans. As you can see here, if you compare pictures that we had at the Capitol, from 2000, from 20 years ago to right now, this is all we have. We used to have so many veterans that filled this entire park uh, for celebrations, but today we, we, we only have a few that is left. And so I want all, especially all the young students to remember that, that uh, you know they are leaving us one after another as they're getting older, and as we are also getting older, uh, it's for us to hold that story, the struggle for freedom, the long journey of the Hmong people here in America. Next year will be 50 years in which the Hmong people have come to live here in Minnesota. And so I want you all to re retain that story. You have a beautiful story, a wonderful story, an American story that I want all of you to be proud of and to, to tell that story to anybody that you see. Be proud of who you are be proud of the community, and be proud that we are living here in Minnesota where we have a uh, Hmong monument here on the state capitol grounds. And so happy Hmong Veterans Day, happy Hmong Day to all of you. Um, 
We're going to speak a little bit of Hmong, so hopefully you uh, retain a little bit of your Hmong language skills. But don't allow that. No, 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 เปย์เอาจอดเน่เด้อตกตันดอกปิ๊กทุกชิพาตูตูตูตองฮ่องหัวตกมอตอนชาปัวติไทยโลเต็ดเจอเปย์จอนหัวเราเปย์มวดสัก
when General Vang Pao and other high-ranking officers of the American-trained Hmong Command Structure, known as the Special Guerrilla Unit, were evacuated out of Laos, and the 35,000 combat soldiers who sacrificed their lives during the American Secret War. And whereas, despite having lost half of its total population as a result of the wars, ethnic persecution, and forced re-education, the Hmong community found refuge across Thailand and ultimately immigrated to the United States, France, Australia, and many more nations. And whereas the city of St. Paul is honored to be home to the largest density of the Hmong American population, as well as approximately 5,000 special guerrilla veterans across the Twin Cities since the arrival of our first Hmong family in 1975, and whereas the city of St. Paul is unwavering in our commitment to the preservation of Hmong history and heritage and uplifting the Hmong women who served as nurses during the American Secret War, as well as the network of Hmong American leaders and organizations who have contributed to the social, economic, and political well-being of St. Paul. Now, therefore, I, Melvin Carter, Mayor of the City of St. Paul, do hereby proclaim today, Tuesday, May 14th, 2024, to be Hmong Special Guerrilla Units Remembrance Day in the City of St. Paul. Thank you very much. And then, um, next up, I want to introduce you to our longest serving Hmong legislator here in the state capitol, uh, Senator Herr. He has worked very hard on this legislation and he did some cleanup language this past year uh, to help uh, provide education for Hmong, uh, the Hmong history at, uh, at public schools. Let's give a big round of applause to Senator Fong Herr. And then, uh, also, please give a big round of applause for Majority Leader Aaron Murphy, who's the leader of our Senate. Uh, so please give a big round of applause to her, too. Okay, then I know I see a lot of young sisters, Hmong sisters here. Let's give a big round of applause to our Hmong uh, female legislator, Sue Senator Susan Pye. Okay. okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the state capitol. I just want to call our... Uh, Thank you, Senator Tushong. Just want to call our, uh, yeah, why don't you come over here, join me, so that we're all in the picture together. This is a good photo opportunity. So welcome to your state capitol. Welcome to the day of commemoration, the Monk Special Guerrilla, Guerrilla Unit Day, Remembrance Day. And, you know, I sometimes, let me go back on the name again. It's so tongue twist. I usually just have most SGU Remembrance Day. It takes a long process for us to get to this point. And Senator Stu Chong just mentioned, it takes up about 15 years. And the tell of the legislation just added last year that we should encourage school to announce or bring them here to Cyber with us. That provision was not, we were not able to put in for a very long time until Majority Leader here, help me with them, no. Majority Leader Aaron Murphy. So thank you for the young people for being here with us today. And sitting in front of us is the memorial, the Lao Hmong Veteran Memorial. Just want to let you know that different paddle has different meaning. The bottom paddle is before the war, peace before the war. The middle paddle is when we are engaged in the war where destruction the fourth, the upcoming paddle is where we escape persecution. And then it's even have a paddle where the generation that were born here become accomplished member of Minnesota. And you have the, even a, a picture of a memorial of itself in that paddle too. On the top, it's clear and there's nothing there. It's because it's for you, the next generation, who will tell our story further. I was there on May 14th in Laos. I remember my parents cry. I cry along with them. I remember crossing over to the, crossing the Mankong River, being arrested by security, and they frisked my parents. That raised a question on Mark. The first time ever, why is my parents are searched? And why are we are searched in our pockets and every single part of our body? 
Then they put us in refugee camp. Then we came to the United States a year later. While we're here, people, folks here, tell us to go back home. It's very traumatic in many ends. And I know at that time, I asked my ESL teacher, why? Why are they telling us to go back home? They said, there's a number of resentment. One is racism. Second is the resentment of the Vietnam War. And also, also attached to racism too. I asked my parents, why are people here telling us to go back home while we sacrifice so much for this country? And they, they said, remember the past, but don't fight. And it was tough as a teen. You get into fist fight a lot when you get bullied in school. So make sure you are not bullied. If you get bullied, call me. But my parents, don't fight back with your fist. Fight back with your learning. Study hard. Get educated. And little that I know I will be here at the state capital ground due to my education, due to the experience that I have and able to be part of the legislation that built this memorial and all of you are part of it. I see my good friend, Ian Michael Tao, was a fundraiser to build this memorial. And the state did ask, we should fund it all. But the Hmong veterans said, we are proud of ourselves. We're gonna fund it too. We need state help, but give us the pride to fundraise ourselves. That's why we got here with the memorial. And then they lead on to recognize May 14 as a long special guerrilla unit remembrance day. And I stayed, and as I said earlier, then we add on the educational component that every school is encouraged to announce this day at their high school. And I thank you, the school that are here with us today like East Ridge, South Park, and Woodbury High School. Thank you, the student, for being here. And as I read, as I read Mark, I read, tell a little bit about my background, that during my conflict years as a teen, my parents asked me not to fight back, but never surrender, but one of Number one thing is to study hard so I can go somewhere. And I say the same thing to you. Study hard so you can go somewhere. So you can tell the story. You can tell our mom story. Whether you're mom or not, I asked my smiley brother, my oral brother, sister, to help tell our story too. And our mom people who will tell the Minnesota story of all diversity but you have to study hard so you can go somewhere, be a contributed citizen of our state, of our country. I'm so glad that we're all here together, and may God bless you, may God bless Minnesota, and may God bless America. Thank you, and I pass. I'll pass the mic to our majority leader, Aaron Murphy. Thank you for being here. I want to also acknowledge my fellow senators, Senator Susan Pa. Uh, I saw Senator uh, Senator Westman, uh, Senator Senator Rarick, and our fe fellow House Representative Represent Hanson, Represent Fisher. Thank you for being here, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for being here too. Majority Leader Aaron Murphy, it's yours. Thank you, Senator. And thank you all. Uh, first of all, thank you for your service for your sacrifice and for your courage in your fight and our fight together for freedom and for justice. You've made our life better. I am honored to welcome everybody here to our beautiful state capitol for this important day, but it's important to acknowledge that today is the marking time and it is what we do together. Not just marking time, but what we do together that builds and continues to build what is a beautiful tapestry of America that has been enriched by the contributions of the Hmong community for the last 49 and ongoing years.
you make Minnesota what it is today. And as Senator Hur has said, study hard, learn, and lead, and we will continue to build a future for Minnesota together. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for being here today. I look forward to the work that we will continue to do for the future of the people here in the state of Minnesota. Thank you. So I am uh, going to tell them not to leave. Everybody stay where you are. And our students from the schools, please come so that we can have a, uh, you guys can take a photo with them. Um, so the students are going to come so they can take a photo with all the legislators. Uh, give them a hand of applause for our legislators for coming out today and our students. Uh, thank you so much for making this bill pass uh, and supporting the bill. And as we're uh, getting ready for the picture, I'll just keep speaking. We were supposed to have a poem by uh, the South Washington County School, but the student that was going to be doing the poem is not feeling well, so she's not, or she or he is not going to read the poem. Um, after this, uh, everyone is welcome to stay. Uh, we're going to have, the, the students are going to have lunch and then we'll do a breakout uh, system so that we can talk a little bit about the war and uh, our veterans can speak to the students. Okay, they should have all been going to do it now. legislators um, and then we're gonna have lunch for the students and then we'll do a breakout sy uh, system here so that uh, they can get a veteran with each group of students and so feel free to take pictures um, and if our legislators are still here please take pictures with, take pictures with them um, and thank you for coming today to Mong Special Gorilla Units Remembrance Day.